Apprentices are an absolutely vital part to our workforce in National Grid. We've got apprentices across the organisation doing different roles, so we've got electricity transmission, we have gas transmission, we've got areas such as IT, so we have a cyber security apprenticeship. Yeah, they're really key to the, key to the organisation. What we're looking for in a National Grid Apprentice is someone who has a real passion for engineering um, and, and has done probably since a young age and we want to harness that, that passion when they join us. Our current retention rate for our apprenticeship programmes, after five years we still have 91% of our apprentices with us, which again is a fantastic uh, statistic um, and one we're very proud of. We really want people that want to progress. I decided to do an apprenticeship with National Grid because uh, the support they provide is brilliant, the training, qualifications and all the facilities around us are brilliant. Having the on-site and hands-on experience along with gaining a, a recognised qualification was really important for me. There's always room for improvement and for example you can start at the bottom in an apprenticeship and um, progress through the career ladder and become senior managers. When I finished school I went to college for a year and I did a, a part-time course whilst I was working at a pub. I just I prefer doing hands-on things and I also get a career and um, paid out of it. Everything here is just a massive benefit as well as all the qualifications we get at the end of it. The kind of advice I give to people who are going for an apprenticeship is to just apply for as many as you can. I got in the second time applying for this, so perseverance always pays off. I think people want National Grid Apprenticeships because we're a high profile company, we're really good to work for, the people that work within the organisation have got real strong uh, values so we, we really force respect, integrity, ownership and being one team so people work together really well as a team. So apprentices get to develop a wealth of skills, so they get an academic qualification which they study over a two year period, the practical um, facilities are, are second to none that you won't find probably anywhere else in, in the industry. They get personal um, skills as well, so getting involved in presentations, but also they get to use all the skills that they've learned here at the training centre and then apply them back in, in the environment that they're in, whether that's at a substation or in a gas transmission site as well. The best part of my apprenticeship so far has probably been going to a site where we actually work and what we'll be doing to see what we'll be doing out there. The hardest part has been um, the bench fitting course that we've been doing because it's got very fine tolerances and to achieve those you have to be very accurate. The hardest part of our apprenticeship was probably maths because there's a lot of maths involved with our city and guilds. I think that women shouldn't be put off by how engineering is a male dominated industry. There's a lot of support out there for women in engineering and I'm finding that um, in the first few weeks that I've been here. In five years I see myself um, moving on to higher up in the company and working my way up, making a career and seeing where it goes. I can see myself just about getting a mortgage for a house. Eventually, I just want to work my way up the ladder really with this company because you can go so far and there's great opportunities here. The career opportunities that are available to anyone who joins, not just um, in, in engineering but any part of the business are fantastic. I came through an apprenticeship route um, and, and I've just been very fortunate that the company have sponsored me to do extra qualifications and, and continue to develop myself and they're a fantastic company for doing that. So I started with the National Grid in 2003 as a substation electrical apprentice. If you're prepared to put the effort in, prepared to put the hard work in, there's, there's an awful lot that's available to you. It's extremely challenging but it's also very rewarding as well working for the company so I think that's the reason that I've stayed with them. You know, a lot of people treat it as a lifetime career, so it's great.